Hey guys, so thought I'd make a very cool new video here about the new concept coming from the people that made this new or that, that made this iPhone 5 concept feature video like one year ago. They have 47 million views on that video. They are at my studio. They did, you know, you show this ultra thin futuristic iPhone that we obviously didn't see. We didn't even get an iPhone 5 last year. So that was kind of hilarious. But now they have been getting out and starting to make a brand new video that I'll leave a link to in the description. It basically show off a futuristic iPad and they are calling it, you know, a, an iPad 3 concept feature video. Now I would say that, you know, obviously the iPad 3 is not going to have these things. It's not going to be thin. It's probably going to have retina display, but probably not going to feature dual, you know, quad core and all those things. So I'll call this an iPad 4 at least, you know, an, an iPad 4 concept because it, it's it's kind of interesting because they're showing off three new things, three interesting things. The first one is edge-to-edge -edge display. Now, edge-to-edge -edge display comes with something that's pretty interesting. You know, when first of all, it, it looks kind of badass, as you can see over here and what you will see in the video that will leave a link to in description. It looks kind of badass, but there's a problem with this. You take on the screen, so I mean, if you're viewing a video something like that and then you're holding your hands on the video it's, it's gonna you know you won't see everything so that's gonna be something that they need to solve and then also another cool little thing that they did show off here if you go ahead and go to the next picture was this uh, holographic uh, 3d uh, display uh, as you can see over here uh, okay, first of all, okay, let's start off with the other thing. Uh, and that would be that you would be able to dock an iPad with another iPad using NFC technology and having like a magnetic the thing so you can, you know, you dock them and then let's say you're watching a video or, you know, playing a game, you can basically get a much bigger area to play that game. So instead of a 10-inch display to play with your friend, let's say your your friend also has an iPad, you'll be able to dock with him and play some games like this uh, Madden NFL game. And, uh, I mean, I gotta say, it, it looks pretty badass, but, you know, first of all, you, you need to have a friend that has a new iPad and then... Yeah, this, this is not going to happen. But this was pretty, pretty darn interesting, a pretty interesting concept that you would have this like holographic 3D display. So so you would, you know, have that insanely cool 3D effect, you know, when you were playing with your friend over here. And also that you would have like sensors that goes out on the side so you can use that as a control or, you know, so you can use controls like that on the side. And I mean, I have to say that, that it did look pretty, pretty insane. But that's, you know, we're probably not going to see that in iPad 4 as well. iPad 10, iPad 20 maybe. But uh, it will be interesting. It will definitely be interesting to see what we're going to see. But, you know, because we're getting to that stage where, you know, okay, they will be able, you know, soon we won't need, you know, more like CPU. Okay, okay. CPUs and stuff like that are obviously gonna improve, but but I think that, that the same thing that happened to computers is gonna happen with smartphones. That you know the technology it, it's gonna slow down with smartphones as well. I mean, quad core processors, you know. We still, you know, have only quad core processors in our computers, and that's just because we don't need anything more. There is not, you know, what should we do? Um, so it's probably gonna slow down pretty soon, you know, with quad cores and stuff like that. I mean, just two years ago we didn't have even, you know, like dual core. Now I have like quad core, and quad core is like high end. It's it's getting to a point where it's starting to get kind of ridiculous. But I like it. I like the extra power. I like the creativity. And it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen in the future. But uh, the iPad 4 probably is not even also, you know, going to have these features because they are kind of bananas. The iPad 4 probably going to come a little thinner, quad core processor uh, one year behind everyone else. And then everyone will be happy. See.